Okay, so this is great. So another thing that, that we see in the news a lot that we read on the internet and that people kind of in the diabetes world especially throw around is they say, you need good fats, good fats. Uh, you know, let's eat good fats and not bad fats, right? Uh, is there such thing as a good fat? Is there such thing as a bad fat? Like what, what, why have we as human beings put these words in front of the word fat and does it have any scientific relevance? Yeah, so I think this is, you know, this is something I hear all the time too. I think that um, when it comes to these, you know, first of all, as a society, we love to talk about nutrients instead of talking about foods themselves. And I think that that creates a lot of confusion for people. And when I teach uh, medical students and, and doctors in training, I always say, don't tell your patients, to, don't talk about carbs, fat, and protein with your patients because it's going to be confusing. You know, carbohydrate could be um, a lentil or you know, a lollipop, as Dr. David Katz always says, or fats could come from an unhealthy place uh, like, you know, a, a steak, or it could come from a healthier place like a walnut. So um, I do think it's, it's very confusing when we use those terms, but, but you're right. People talk a lot about good and bad fats. I think that when it comes to diabetes, the data are pretty clear that, um, as I was saying, that I think that there are certain types of fats that are very, very harmful in the development of especially type 2 diabetes and insulin resistance. So we know, for example, that the saturated fats and the trans fats, um, which come from largely processed foods that are at, you know, when hydrogenated oils are added or when we have animal fats, those are directly correlated with the risk of type 2 diabetes and the development of insulin resistance. You can infuse saturated fat into the bloodstream through an IV and watch someone become insulin resistant in a matter of hours. We have those studies. Now, uh, when it comes to sort of quote unquote good fats, um, I do think it's probably more important to, um, to look at where your fats are coming from in the diet, what are the sources rather than the total amount, um, but to a point um, when it comes to diabetes. So if you're focusing on plant fats in their whole form, like avocados or nuts and seeds, that's a we know that the outcomes associated with eating those foods are far greater, both in terms of preventing diabetes and certainly preventing complications of diabetes like heart disease and, and, other, and other illnesses. Um, but I, I think that that's only to a point. So if you have a diet that studies have shown, if you have a diet that's say more than 37% fat, I know from one, from one big study, then it, then it was all a wash. So if you're eating a really high fat diet, you might, even if it's coming from quote unquote good fats, you might be starting to impair the way your insulin works.